How's everybody doing today? So I'm here to fix this problem that the customer called and I wanted to share it with you. So basically the reason why they called is they had surging water pressure. So she said she'd have low water if she low water pressure if she opened more than one faucet and if she ran the kitchen sink alone or the shower alone she noticed that the pressure would go high and low and high and low uh, you know fairly quickly so what happens when that's the case is that blue tank right there the bladder inside of it is bad and it's not allowing the water to build pressure against the air that's supposed to be trapped in the tank so a way you can tell if the tank is bad is by tot tapping on it and you can tell that thuddy sound it's supposed to sound like a bell because it's not supposed to have water in it so what I ended up doing is I cut both the pipes loose to try to drain the water out if the tank is bad it'll be heavy so the tank right now probably weighs about 80 pounds because it still has water in it it should only weigh about 20 so as I was here doing this I uh, come over here and I go to take the lid off the pressure switch and the lady had told me that it was uh, dripping when she looked the other day so I come over here and I grab the pressure switch like this and look and no lie I just touched it to unspin it to lift the cover off and it's completely broken I mean that is just terrible put some light on the situation that is wild so what that is, the reason why this happened is because the the water itself is probably pretty acidic, being that it's old, but that brass completely dissolved and it started to build corrosion in there. Well this is galvanized and so is this, and when you connect galvanized and brass you get galvanic corrosion which can start stopping things up. Like the inside of this hole can be stopped up with um, just basically junk buildup, iron buildup, mineral buildup, whatever. So if you don't have water pressure, I would suggest the first thing you try is knocking on the tank to see if it sounds like a bell. The second thing you're going to do is take off all these wires right here. These will have 240 volts on them, so be careful. Um, right now she has the breaker off so there's no power but simple to wire up as long as you remember keep your colors on one side black's going one side and the white's going another and as long as you remember that you can't mess it up but typically if all of a sudden you don't have any water or the water runs out for 60 seconds and then magically just cuts back on randomly what it is this nipple here is going to be plugged up with sediment and you have to undo the wires Take a 9 16 wrench here and unspin the pressure switch off the nipple and then jam a screwdriver down through there. We're going to take this and all you do is take that screwdriver and run it up through there. And see this had buildup in it. You're trying to clean that pipe out. So see when I pull it out there'll probably be, see the red junk on the end? That's enough to prevent the diaphragm that's up in here from seeing the water pressure and the diaphragm would push up on a lever and then that lever what that lever does is opens those contacts and shuts the pump off well when the water pressure gets low the diaphragm deflates more or less and it lowers the lever and it closes the contacts so that's kind of how a pressure switch works it just opens the contacts and closes the contacts now if you don't have any water pressure and you come under a house and you take the cover off the switch here and you look and you see that the contacts are open well the contacts are open and you don't get any water pressure and your gauge might be on zero then what it is is the stem is clogged up and it's not allowed allowing the pressure to to get through there right so the switch will be open because in the diaphragm it's got 60 psi but out here it's zero so and then it can revert it can do the opposite it can plug up so much that the contacts stay closed and the pump stays on and when it gets to 60 it can't read through that so then it stays on and builds all the way past 100 and eventually it'll blow a pipe up sometimes it'll blow up the incoming pipe sometimes it'll blow the pipe up coming in the well sometimes it'll blow up a PEX pipe could be in the wall or you know 
anywhere where it sees high pressure. A well pump can build 150 PSI if the switch gets stuck. So typically that's not the case. Typically it gets stuck in the open position like that and it doesn't cut on when you run out of water. And then 60 seconds later, it shuts and then boom, you have water again. So if you are having intermittent water problems, check the switch. Now, another thing that can happen is uh, a bug, water bug, or an ant can crawl in and it can go right in between that contact. And then when it closes, it closes on the bug and it doesn't make a connection through there. So the pump will not cut on. So if you're having troubles and you want to di diagnose it personally, Go under your house, get the pressure switch cover, use the corner of this right here, and just be careful and leave the power on when you do it. That way you can tell if it shuts on or not. So let's just say you have a bug in there or just carbon buildup. Flick those contacts like that. You know, do it about 10 times. And then sometimes you'll see a spark. If you see a spark, that means the pump is running. And if you see a spark, the pump is running, and you're still not getting any water, then you probably have a leak down in your well. So, I hope y'all found this video informative. Please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get 5,000 subscribers. So, if you find my videos informational and this helped you, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you need any personal help, just comment on the video. Uh, I typically get back to people within a few hours, um, if not within the same day. And I'll give you my phone number and I can walk you through uh, any problems you have and um, more or less help you diagnose it without having a, uh, you know, a professional come out and do it. Sometimes people can't always get out right away and you kind of need water right away. So if you, uh, if you need any help, just let me know. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. There's the new tank, all installed, ready to go. 4060 pressure switch, 38 to 36 to 38 pounds of air pressure in the top on the uh, Schrader valve. Got a new gauge, a new drain, all plumbed up. Uh, two clamps, double clamp the uh, black roll pipe. So we're all ready to go. Thank you all for watching.